Hi, I'm Kevin Kilban. I'm joined by Stephen Colwell. Uh, Stevie, the aftermath of last night and watching Canada take on Panama, it wasn't a vintage performance, but one player stood out in particular that we both admire last night, and Jesse Marsh had some very interesting things to say about Mois Bombito after the game. It was almost a total performance from him, right? Like, hardly took a bad step on the pitch. Won his uh, duels, won his foot races, um, you know, without fouling often, tactically very strong, good on the ball, dangerous on some set pieces. Like he has potential. I said this, you know, this is what I, I said, and I, and I didn't want it to be taken the wrong way, but I said that his talent is among the best of in the world in that position. I said that, right? Like whatever during Copa America and, and I've coached, players that are considered the best in that position and their their talent levels their their raw skills and and abilities are on the same level yeah stevie he, he was excellent last night we have to say that he was but those comments from jesse marsh describing him as amongst the very best talent wise in the world how, how do you view that type of comment judging him yourself you know as an excellent center half yourself stevie how, how do you judge that High praise, isn't it, Kev? You know, when you think about the best in the world, it's it's a pretty big statement from Jesse Marsh. And again, it's it's in the same vein as what we saw before the game, where Jesse Marsh is trying to bring a lot of confidence to his players and build them up in a big way. But when you look back at his performance last night, while well, it was against you know a medium level uh, cocky calf opponent in Panama, he was absolutely excellent. And, and and dare I say it, Kev, never really like to compare players, but I saw a lot of Virgil Van Dijk in Moise Bombito last night. That dominance, the way that he can, can cover large areas of the pitch and uh, physically be capable of, of, of running the channels, winning his challenges, and then also that confidence on the ball was definitely there to be seen. Um, what I'll say is when you look at his game, Kev, areas that he, he might need to improve, I think his concentration is going to get a little bit better. We didn't see too many lapses last night, but maybe he wasn't tested as often as he will be against a stronger opponent. And then I think on the ball, he does have the talent to be superb. But at the moment, I still think he's got a little bit of a, a mistake in a Moise Bombito. So when he goes back to Nice and his club and he, he reflects on his performance, he'll be delighted. But when he looks at areas that he wants to work on, I think on the ball and, and concentration and making sure that he's just as perfect as can be, that's a key for a centre-back, Kev, to be as perfect mm. as you can be throughout a game and make zero mistakes be safe, be be calm, and be confident on the ball. Once he gets to that level, he's got the potential to do it. There's no stopping this lad. Yeah, and, and Stevie, you know as, as well as anybody the concentration levels. It it wasn't a, a total performance from Canada. That's that's fair to say from last night. I don't think the flow of the game went particularly well in terms of possession from them. Conditions didn't help that. I think in many aspects, I think the pitch didn't help that as well, Stevie. But you again, you know more than me that in that position, you have to be switched on. I think the, the, the most important thing when you're in that position, when the team's not playing particularly well, is keeping those concentrations le uh, concentration levels high, making sure that the mistakes are limited. And if, if and when you're called upon, you have to be the right side of the defender. Jesse Marsh spoke about it there in, in terms of almost like the complete performance from him last night. I think that's maybe more of a glowing testament of him last night against a, a tricky Panama side. I, I watched them in the USA game, Stevie, as you know, and I felt as though they were not so much underrated, but they're, they're a side that have got a, a little bit of talent, certainly in, in CONCACAF, they maybe go under the radar a little bit. And I think uh, Moise Bombito recognised that they had a very physical centre forward with talent. He was fairly quick that could run the channels, but Moise Bombito, even if he got caught out, Steve, if he got caught under the ball, he had the pace and recognised that he had the pace to go and beat his man, do the, do the job defensively, quickly and efficiently. And that was maybe the standout thing from my game, that even though Canada weren't playing particularly well, as a centre-half, Steve, you've got to be maybe more so switched on at the top of your game because it's not always going to be about in possession of the ball, stepping into play and looking good. You've got to do the messy things properly. You do, Kev. And, and what a bonus it is as, as a coach to have a player who can handle a whole half of the pitch. You know, you can leave him 1v1 and then you yeah. can allow others to step into play, particularly the full-backs, Alfonso Davies and Richie Larea. 
can really step into the attack and, and can be an extra body in an attacking sense because you know your main centre-back can just cover the, the whole half of the pitch. And he did that in five or six occasions, didn't he? He just covered all that space in behind um, his mm. back line and, and where Max Crippo was was high as well, obviously. But I think that is such a strength uh, and certainly the way that Jesse Marsh wants to play. And there's, there's no substitute for experience in the centre-back position, Kev. So... Most centre backs get better as, as years go on. As, as you sort of yeah. play more games and you learn the position more, you become better and better. And and, and so I think Moise Bombito will be, be one of these guys. He's going to get better. He's going to improve. He's going to be in more situations that allow him to to learn the game and learn the position because it is a very unique position. And I think to to sort of finish off Jesse Marcy's thoughts in terms of him being world class or, or or up there with some of the best young centre backs in the world. He's going to be dominant. The best centre-backs make other players around them play better, Kev. Mm. The partner looks better, looks more secure. The full-backs, the goalkeeper behind them, everybody looks like they've got their chest puffed out because of one dominant centre-back, Sorry, like a Virgil yeah. van Dijk. Someone like that in the back line, Vidic, back in the day when, when we were playing, or Rio Ferdinand. They just have that, that uh, presence about them in the back line. Well, Beto showed signs of that last night. I don't want to go too far. I still think he's got a bit to go. But showing yeah. signs of that is so pleasing for Canada and for Jesse Marsh. Just a quick one before we wrap, Stevie, here. How does he improve those concentration levels or how does he improve his game then to get onto the next level? It's high-performance habits, isn't it, Kev? It's, it's training. It's, it's doing the right things. It's living the right way. It's routine and habits that allow you to then perform on, on the biggest stage on the Saturday or whenever your game comes around. So you take no days off in training, you make sure your standards are extremely high, you, you, you practice all the things that you're looking to achieve at the weekend or on your match day. So I think Moise Bombito is getting there. I've seen huge improvements since I first worked with him with a national team. But I think he's still got a long way to go if he wants to play at the highest level. We know from our experience, you've played hundreds of games in the Premier League, Kev. If he wants to go to the English Premier League or Bundesliga or La Liga, some of the best leagues in the world, you cannot make a mistake. You make a mistake, you're punished, and the ball ends up in the back of your net. So, you know, he's got to eradicate the mistakes. He's going to be uh, in, in that high-performance mindset at all times so that it becomes second nature to him. It becomes natural, and that's a little bit of that experience that I'm talking about. Once you get to that stage where you're just living Monday to Friday in this high-performance mindset, when Saturday comes, it's a lot easier. Mm, when you talk about the mindset, it's something that Jesse Marsh has continuously spoken about since taking uh, the, the Canada job. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he does develop from here, Moise Bombito. An excellent performance all round from him. And can he improve even further, certainly ahead of the World Cup, but more so in the coming weeks and months for, for Canada and for Nice at his club?